Okay, 5-2b. We're still solving systems using tables or graphs. Let's take a look at another example. What we're going to find is the table method is going to be rather slow. And um, since a lot of these situations have infinite solutions, making a finite table will not always guarantee finding an answer. So sometimes, uh, uh, for the more complex type problems, a graph really is the quickest, most efficient way of solving the system. So here's an interesting example. Torian owns land directly adjacent to the lake at Yellow Creek State Park. Now, she wants to put in a little beach for uh, her friends to play. She's going to import the sand and uh, it's just going to be really, really cool. But she doesn't want animals coming into the sand and doing their, you know, their business. Okay, she doesn't want to have to be picking poop out of her beach. So she's going to put a little uh, fence around the beach area. Now she goes and she's buying 80 meters. It's sold by the meter. She buys 80 meters of fence. And with that 80 meters, she wants to make sure she has at least 500 square meters of play area. That is her goal. She wants a nice sized beach and it's all going to be fenced in. So let's take a look at the picture here. What, what's really happening? All right, so let's simulate the situation here. Here's the lake. Her beach is gonna be right adjacent to the water. And um, here's gonna be her sand. Okay, so we'll put nice fresh yellow sand in here. And she doesn't want any animals coming in, going to the bathroom in her sandbox, so to speak. Now, out here is the jungle. Okay, this is where all the natural fauna lives. Okay, and her cute little beach house is going to be right there. Okay, there's the beach house, but that doesn't really matter. This is the area that she wants to fence in. She wants it to be at least 500 um, square meters. Let's write that in. This has to be 500 um, square meters. And she's only got 80 meters of fencing to go around these three sides. Now, we've got two widths and we have one length. Only one length because she doesn't have to fence where the lake's going to be. She's got to be able to go into the lake. All right, so let's see what this looks like algebraically. All right, so here are our two parameters. We have 80 meters fence to enclose 500 square meters of beach. The fence, the total fence is going to be W plus L plus W. Okay, so because she has three sections here. So let's see here. She's got 80, and 80 is going to be equal to W plus W. Okay, so that's two W's plus a length. All right, so there is an algebra equation to describe the amount of fence that she has. Now, the other parameter is it has to enclose 500 square meters of beach. So the area has got to be 500. So 500 is going to have to be equal to the area, which of course is the length times the width. So we have two equations that describe this whole picture and Tori's whole situation. We want to find out what is the single width and length that will make this true. Or who knows, maybe there's more than one length and width for which this would be true and then she can just pick the shape that she likes the best. So, ugh, we've got to see if we can get this into our graphing calculator, both of these conditions. We'll graph both of the situations and we'll see where they intersect because that will be the place where this is true. Both of these are true. I don't think we're going to be able to get these equations into our graphing calculator because the graphing calculator only accepts y sub 1 is equal to. So we've got to rewrite these and get them so that one variable, the dependent variable, is over on the left. 
I think it's going to be easier to solve for L. So I'm going to let um, Y stand for L, and I'm going to let X stand for W. W. So I'm going to rearrange it like that. If I rearrange these, substituting X and Y in for my length and my width, let's see what will happen. All right, rearranging the first line so that the L is by itself and sticking it over onto the left, the L would be then equal to 80 minus 2 widths. Second equation, solving here for the length, I'd have to divide both sides by W, so the length would be equal to 500 divided by W. But again, the graphing calculator is going to want things in terms of Y equals. So let's go ahead and rewrite this system as Let's see, y sub 1 is going to be equal to 80 minus 2, and we'll put in the x. Then uh, y sub 2 is going to be equal to 500 divided by x. Again, all I've done is substitute x and y for l and w. And now we can put these two equations very nicely into our graphing calculator. This is an inverse variation, so we're going to get a hyperbola on this one, and we're going to get a line on this one. Let's see, let's think about domains here. These are lengths for her um, fence and area, so we're going to be in the first quadrant. Negative numbers aren't going to make sense here. Let's go ahead and put in the following parameters for our window. All right, this is probably a good place to start given our, our two equations. So let's go ahead and set your window like this. When you do, you're going to see something along these lines. Okay, the hyperbola is going to graph like this, the line is going to graph like this, and we're going to have two spots of intersection. So there will, there's going to be two places um, that will satisfy both conditions for Tori. You can, you're going to have to use your calculator trace function to narrow so in. Use your on. trace function and find values that are uh, very, very close to these two points. So take a moment and go ahead and do that. Given me uh, about 8 meters, 8 meters, 64 meters here. So we're looking 8 meters wide, 64 meters long. That's kind of a, a long, extremely narrow beach. And over here, I'm getting approximately 32 and 16. Now your values may be slightly different. Uh, this is just what I have selected and chosen to round to, but your values should be very, very close to this. So this gives Tori uh, an interesting situation here. Let's see if I can draw these two beaches. The first beach is going to be eight times longer than it is wide, so if it's that wide, one, two, three, four. Her first beach, okay, with this is the water here, is going to be really, really long and narrow. Now this, the second beach, is going to have a width of 32 and a length of 16. So its width is going to be twice its length, and the water would be right here. So she's got to decide what shape she wants. These are the only two shapes that are going to facilitate her original condition. Mm -hmm.